Hello and welcome to today's Beat Saber video. Now today we're going to be talking about how to mod Beat Saber for version 1.9.0. Now before you skip this part, I just want to say we're going to be taking this a little bit slower so it's going to be a longer video, but I just want to explain a little bit more when I'm doing this. So if this does help, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing for some more Beat Saber modding tutorials. So we're going to be taking this a little bit slower. I know everybody's been asking that, so first thing that I want you to do is actually uninstall your Beat Saber game. First things first, if if you've already modded your Beat Saber game, make sure to take out all of your custom folders. For me, that's my custom avatars, my custom platforms, sabers. I'm just going to drag those out to my desktop. And then if I also head to my Beat Saber data folder, I can also drag out my custom levels and custom work and progress levels. Now that I have everything that I need, I'm going to simply uninstall Beat Saber. So if I open up Steam and I right click Beat Saber, I'm going to go to the manage and the uninstall button. I'm going to simply press the uninstall button. And to make sure that I have everything deleted, I'm just going to fully delete all of the Beat Saber files so I have nothing from the past version of 1.8.0. Now I'm going to install Beat Saber once again and I'm going to make sure that I know this file path. For me this is under my D drive, the games folder, and in my Steam library folder. This is where Beat Saber is going to install. This is also where your file directory for Beat Saber is going to be. Now the reason that I'm reinstalling Beat Saber and I had to uninstall it before is because I don't want to use any of the old version 1.8.0 mods, 1.8.0 files, anything of version 1.8.0. 1.8.0. I want a clean install, a clean version 1.9.0 install. I do this so nothing conflicts. It is a personal preference. You don't have to do this, but I do recommend it as it has helped some people. Now regarding the new update, this has a new free song out for Steam, Oculus, and even PS VR, so y'all PS4 players can enjoy this. But I'm just going to simply run Beat Saber once. Now that I have my VR headset already hooked up, I'm going to simply press the continue button right here. This is the health and safety screen as we can see the new free song we can play that or we can play the new Timbaland pack but I'm just going to simply go ahead and press quit. Now the reason we had to run Beat Saber one time is because if we head to the Beat Saber folder we now have all the files needed in order to actually mod the game. This is what it's known as its vanilla state or unmodded state of Beat Saber. Now in actually order to download mods and actually use mods for Beat Saber we're going to be using an application called Mod Assistant. This is its latest version on v1.1.4 this link right here will be linked down in the description and we're only going to press this modassistant.exe. Now sometimes when downloading mod assistant right here it'll say Google Chrome thinks that this is unsafe just go ahead and press this arrow and then it'll say keep or press safe or whatever. This is the program that we're going to be using to actually download mods for Beat Saber. Now that we have mod assistant downloaded it's currently going to look like this purple ring with like a purple star in the middle. We're just going to simply open this up and we're going to be brought to this intro page on the left hand side. Maybe not maybe if you guys are already modded in the past you'll go straight to the mods tab but for the new people you might be at the intro tab now all you got to do is simply press i agree and then it'll pop up saying you can now use the mods tab on the left hand side now after you press i agree i would just recommend quickly reading over this as the main thing that you guys need to learn is that mods will break after every update and that mods are made by real people and their free time and so mods won't be automatically updated but luckily for us most of the mods from version 1.8.0 still work for version 1.9.0 since there was nothing Nothing really groundbreaking besides a new song being added there probably wasn't much needed to update the mods now before we can actually download all of these mods let's head to the options tab right over here now once we're inside the options tab we see this install folder and for me this is currently my install folder for Beat Saber if you just downloaded mod assistant this might be blank now I get comments on top of comments on top of comments on how to find your file directory or your install folder now how do I actually find out where my install folder is so luckily for us on Steam, if we right click Beat Saber, we head to this properties panel right here. If we go to the local files, we can actually go browse local files. And this is going to take us exactly to where our Beat Saber game is located. Let's say that I'm in my documents tab right here and I can go to browse local files. It'll take me to a new tab that will actually have the Beat Saber file directory. Now, if you simply left click in this kind of blank area, you will get the actual file path. Like I said, this was in the D drive, the games, the Steam library steam apps common beat saber folder and we're just going to simply right click and press copy and we're going to jump back into mod assistant press open folder right here and then we're going to simply paste this in but because mine was the same it's going to be the exact same file directory now if that doesn't work for some reason just go to select folder and then you'll have to manually select each folder to folder until you get 
into your Beat Saber folder. And once we have our install folder already set, we can now head to the mods tab. Now, if you've never modded your Beat Saber game before, listen closely. If you see some of these checkboxes that are already filled in with black and a white checkbox, these are the mods that are absolutely essential and needed for modding Beat Saber. This is the BSIPA injector and the song core, which allows custom songs. And then the libraries, these are just extra mods or extra .dll files that are needed to actually mod Beat Saber. If you didn't get what I just said, don't worry, it doesn't really matter that much. Now the nice thing about using Mod Assistant versus like another application called Beatdrop, but we don't use that, is that it has the name of the actual mod, it has the installed version that's going to be on your computer, and this dash right here means that we don't have the mod installed, it has the latest version of the mod, and it also has a description of the mod on the right hand side. And then once you do have the mod installed, you will have an uninstall button on the very right side. Now once you've selected all of your mods in the bottom left corner, it's going to be highlighted as version 1.9.0 in gray. It won't let you click on it and change the game version. That is good because we're only modding 1.9.0. Just simply press the install or update button and it's going to start installing all of the mods. Now as you can see we have all of our mods downloaded that we wanted to download. We have the latest version of the mod which is displayed in green but if you don't have the latest version of the mod it'll be displayed in red so you need to update your mods. And now we are ready to play Beat Saber. So simply head to Steam or Oculus, hit play again on Beat Saber and we should be all good to go. And just like that, we have modded Beat Saber. Now, if we check the left-hand side, we see the brand new mods tab in the top left corner. We also see the mod settings and the regular settings right there. So if you don't see a mod settings or a mods button, just simply watch this next part. Now, for some reason, sometimes the mods don't inject the first-hand time. So all that's needed for you to do is simply head back into Mod Assist and make sure that your mods are reselected and hit the installer update button. And with that said, it said finished installing mods. So let's say that you press the installer update button but the mods are still not working for some reason we'll simply head to your beat saber location and there's going to be a new application called ipa this is simply the mod injector and if we double click this it's going to open a command prompt and all we're going to do is press the enter button and boom, just like that, we should have the mods now in game. If we simply head back over to Steam, we can simply load back into Beat Saber and we should have all the mods. And with that being said, we have successfully modded Beat Saber on version 1.9.0. Now, like we did at the beginning of the video, we dragged out all of our custom folders and whatnot. This included all of our custom levels, our custom platforms, sabers, avatars, whatever you guys might have. And we're just going to simply reinstall those back into the game. For all of your custom levels, simply head back into the Beat Saber data and just simply drag and drop the custom levels from your desktop back into the folder and with all of your other custom folders simply just drag those back into the beat saber folder and just like that you're simply done thanks for staying all the way to the end and for a special for you guys staying all the way to the end there's gonna be a playlist that you guys can watch right now of other beat saber videos for version 1.9.0 once again don't forget to leave that like and consider punching that subscribe button in the face for some more beat saber tutorials